Hello, Magic here, and today we're going to be continuing, continuing off in shoot. So in the last episode, we continued off with, you know, the SDM crew, as usual. And uh, we started off with, you know, trying to burn the lake, but not successfully, and somehow turning into Molten Ice. I still don't know if that's a true thing or a Gensokyo thing, so you know what? I'm not even going to comment further on that. We then later headed on towards the SDM with Flandre, Kokuma, Mailing and Patchley, and then there Flandre start recording like audio to for describing what the mansion was like. We gave our descriptions and whatnot, and then what continue on from there. Um, what was the main thing? Uh, the one thing I do remember the most out of the entire thing is Romelia and Romelia and Flandre going well. That shit insane in terms of wanting to have a barbecue, okay? So barbecue is not the worst thing in the world, okay? But the issue is they wanted to have a barbecue inside. In the library. Where there are fucking books everywhere as you can see it right now with the goddamn screen. So I mean, uh, you, as you can imagine, that didn't exactly turn out the best. And everything got burnt down, supposedly. Well, the picture doesn't showcase uh, the books burning, but at least the girls mentioned everything got burned. At least a majority of the things. So, yeah, not exactly pleasant. And then we left off with salmon. So, yeah. Looks like the barbecue didn't turn off well if it's almost raw still. Or I think. I think. It should be. Uh, I mean, that's one way to look at it? Don't know what the scallops are, so I can't say on that. Hotate scallops. Never heard of that. Didn't exactly take a genius to know that shit! <sighs> girls, 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 why? Why did you need to have a barbecue in the library? Oh, yeah, because it's entertaining, that's why. I know, right? <laughs> Patchley and I, and I were agreeing on that. Let's not start a barbecue in the library, of all places. Yeah, a very amount, I mean, immense amount of books everywhere, as you can tell. I'm going with a little bit on both on this one. Uh oh. I think you messed up. <laughs> no, shit! Who would have guessed? <laughs> oh boy. Fondre, scary, scary. Well, she did kill fucking Reimu, so there's that. She ain't holding back any punches, that's for sure. <laughs> well, one, not burning it down. That would have been a very pleasant thing because people like a library because it has books and you can't exactly use a library when all the shit got burnt down. You just trolling me here. You just trolling me here, Kokuma. Dude, if I was in Patchley's position right now, if after all this shit happened, in my, let's, let's assume it's my room, right? After all this shit happened, I would fucking smoke Kokuma right now. I'd be like, BOOM, BITCH! If that was Patchley, if I was Patchley, yeah, I would do, I would just annihilate every single one. Just punch Kokuma, punch Flandre, punch Romelia. I punched Sakia just because I'm bored right now. No, but she's sleeping though. Okay, maybe maybe not punching a sleeping person. That's that that's just complete assholery, if that's a word. That that's just that's taking it too far, man. Burning a library down, that's just annoying someone. But you know, waking someone else up. That's not cool, man. That's not cool, man. Not cool. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> After burning it down, maybe a good idea. Yeah, after you burn the place down. <laughs> Even if it's a lie. I can't comment on that. It's red. I mean, the carpets are red. The walls are red. The staircases are purplish. It's close enough to red. I mean, it fits the whole scarlet theme. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yes, you were not talking about your ear here. Can you really translate to that to referring to the library? It's still, I would say, it, I would say a library is more important than ear hairs. I mean, in terms of comparison wise, wouldn't you think? You, you might not want to say that. Yeah, you might not want to say that. Flanjo might actually do that. Move on. So funny, funny! I mean, yes, it is a corridor. What else? I highly doubt. Wait, you might do that. You might give us some elaborate explanation. So we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. <laughs> but, but, but forget the library. Nah, fuck that place, man. It, it, it ain't part of the mansion. You're just hearing things. Cough, cough, the library. <laughs> oh, Patchley. Yes, it is. It should be, unless the definition is different in Gensokyo. Oh boy, what's the difference? Well, she ain't exactly wrong there. A lot of crazy stuff has happened in the library. I remember a quiz show back in EOSD and other stuff. I think it was EOSD, hopefully. Yes, yes. Oh, she's just messing right now. Oh, that refers to Patchouli. Patchouli-sama-wa-mei-wak-to-omotte-ru-han-mei-tanoshin-de-ru-hushi-mo-arimasu-ne. Let's see. <laughs> she, she's just firing it off left and right. I, I don't know, maybe there are a few book readers who like it? I can imagine a Q Kozu Zoo would, would, would love to chill the library. Um, I don't know, I don't really listen to much ghost stories. 
Oh, so I can't comment on that. I don't know I've listened to a lot of creepypastas, but I don't know if, if during those stories they left out any details I'm not aware of, so I guess I can't say. But yeah, most of those times they're more creatures of anything than ghosts. It's hard to say, so I, I honestly don't know about this part. I mean, it could be true, more ominous, I just I've never really listened to ghost stories much. So he unless he can't come creepy passes, then maybe. Hey, a library with a toilet, man. That, that's not bad. That's not bad. That can come in handy. That can come in handy. <laughs> okay, that's a little overkill, but hey, toilets are never that bad. Unless you have to clean them up. Then that would suck a lot. <laughs> 